Welcome back to the VST channel guys. A huge update to Samsung Lockstar, which is a model used in good luck. You can do plenty of fancy things, modify things, you know good luck in your Lockstar, but this update allows finally widgets on a lock screen. So, supported functions, change position of clocks, music widgets, notification and tips, show high clock, the music widgets, reminder help, status bar, register up to six shortcut apps, change the background image, unlocking method, change how the shortcut apps are run and manage save styles. And I do believe also clocks on AOD. Now, let me show you my current lock screen, right? And I'm gonna try to edit it so that you're gonna see what uh, I'm able to edit right now. So this is my lock screen. And as you can see, I can change wallpapers and I can for sure change some of the clock styles here and add some things like notification, play around with them, with transparency, with the font whatsoever. But it's pretty much it. I'm not able to add any widgets on the lock screen. Now, sadly, the lock star is still not available for me on the Galaxy Store, but thanks to the guys on the VST chat, they made me aware that you can download it from APK Mirror, which is pretty much what I did. So guys, I downloaded it, right? I'm gonna straight install it directly here, live on this video. Do you wanna update this up? I'm going to update this application, and then we are going to hopefully see all the new features. Now, once you update the Logstar, just open Good Log, guys, and navigate to the Logstar. It's gonna be here, right? So, Logstar create new lock screens and always on display styles. So, how do we know that's the latest version? If you go to about Lockstar, it should be the version 5.10024. Now, what I'm gonna do guys, I am going to turn this on, all right, and try to see what we're able to add. First things first, that's the music widget, which is quite, quite nice. And let me just see what other things we can do. Oh. So you can potentially add a sticker. The adding widget is the new thing. You can also add the music player as we've seen. And let me just try to add a widget, guys. So battery, Bixby, calendar. All right, let me just add the battery widgets. Okay, let's add this because this might be something nice. And you can also play in the very same way we played before with those widgets. I'm playing with transparency and also with the phone. So I'm gonna save this right now. I'm gonna put the clock here. All right, clock is not so visible, so I'm going to try to modify it a bit if we want to get a bit more visibility, but that's not what is important right now. What is important is for us to see all the new things added. I'm going to save this one, okay, and I'm going to power off my phone, turn it down. <laughs> okay, the battery widget. All right, it's a bit weird. It requires a bit more modification to just make it right. I'm gonna click somewhere and I'm gonna click the edit widget. So the Bixby widget, you can also put the calendar. Let's try to put the calendar and see how it looks like. If we save it here, it's going to be a bit on top. So of course you need to modify um, where these things appear. So you're able to resize the widget, but you cannot move it or I'm not able to do it. Let me just add another widget. I'm going to add this Galaxy Buds Pro Manager. I'm gonna put it there. And okay, so uh, that's that's not good guys. So it seems that they kind of like overlap So the space that you can use for widgets is probably only here Let me show you what I did on my always on display guys because you are now also able to put widgets on your always on display It works exactly the same way now if you want to click at here widget All right, so let's just go and let's put the big battery this time It's going to be placed right there below the clock Click on the widget and try to resize it to make sure that you take the most available space. And now, guys, when I'm just powering off my phone, one tap will get me here. Yep, you can just see it. It's barely there, but it's there. This is here, my battery widget. And if I double click, I'm going to get straight to my lock screen. Let's start from a blank canvas lock screen and see what we can add here. So I'm going to click it. All right, first click here. First thing, guys, I am going to add is the clock. Now, pay attention. When you add the clock, all right, it's going to add also the widget section. So here, this section is only reserved for the clock, and the section below is reserved for the widgets. And as you can just see, guys, I have already two widgets here. Potentially, you can sneak in maybe three, four widgets if they are very tiny, and don't forget you have the option always to resize them, all right? So maybe two to three widgets. Now, I have the clock here. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to put it just like this, guys, Save it, all right, and now let's check the ready result. 
boom all right it <laughs> doesn't look great i have to admit see the section here is just missed out so i guess i have to do a bit more aligning let me test this setup guys i have the clock here i have the battery device care widget i have of course my notifications and i have the samsung player i'm saving this configuration i want to make sure that some music is playing some music is playing pat metini uh, now i am going to go back on my lock screen and this is it guys so i can now click here i'm able to optimize my device i can check the status of my memory the storage of course you have my notifications i have here all the notifications lined up and of course i have also the music player the same also works for the always on display you can just see i have the music here and also i'm able to see the battery widgets still not so perfect guys because the space is a bit limited but there is option there is potential there so you can play around and actually use this widget box to sneak in as many widgets as you're able to sneak in while minimizing them of course you have to sacrifice some of this but potentially you can get up to two maybe even three widgets if they are really small ones and just one final test guys i'm gonna go now here for the small battery widget and just see if i'm able to sneak that in and yeah, I'm gonna put it there it's going to be really very tough but if I'm now back on my lock screen I'm having here my clock I'm having here storage memory I have here even the battery information my notifications and my music player and I know this looks really very ugly but it's there you can play with this guys and make it even better the good thing is that now Samsung Lockstar gives us this new option to finally add widgets on the lock screen and also on the always on display now the bad thing is that it looks really very alpha so it has to be further optimized and made better but I think that's again a step in the right direction thank you so much for watching guys stay safe it's the over and bye